Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mac or the Mac these days and um, it's been a while since I uploaded a video but uh, it's been Christmas holidays and uh, so I hope you all had some good Christmas holidays and uh, if you celebrate that or if not just having some good free time off work. So uh, this is Panzer Campaigns. As I was talking about before, I was going to cover this game. This is actually the uh, largest scale uh, operations of the John Tiller series. You do have the squad battles, the, the Panzer battles, and the Panzer campaigns. It's uh, one of the oldest uh, games he released, I think, with some of the first titles. Maybe squad battles, maybe. Not sure. Uh, anyways, this is large scale operations. Uh, you have um, you control uh, battalions, uh, regiments, and you basically play large operations. So this is the uh, Battle of the Bulge 44. I think it's a quite early um, release from his games back in early 2000, and now they're all revising these games. And this is the Gold Edition. So this is actually quite uh, new on the website. So I decided to check it out and share it on the channel. Um, so, Bulge 44 Gold. So they have tuned up the graphics and uh, added a lot of stuff that uh, I think the community, this uh, Volcano Man mods, that's, uh, he's done a lot of uh, mod, uh, mods and put, uh, modifications to the game over the years. And... Um, so uh, they have implicated some of that into these gold release, uh, releases and uh, fine-tuned the graphics and um, so this is what the game looks like when you open it up um, so this is the uh, the bulge right so the, often mistaken as the the last offensive uh, of the uh, of the germans during the world war two towards the end there uh, it wasn't, but it was a doomed operation from the start. Uh, basically, um, the uh, Germans being pushed out of France, and they've lost uh, the, the, all that territory, and the Allies had gained a good, a strong bridgehead and loaded, unloaded loads of supplies and uh, infantry and forces on these uh, on these grounds, and. Um, there was sort of a lull in the fighting, I guess, and the um, German had Germans had fortified their um, uh, the borders into Germany with the with with the forces. So uh, this was an operation to try to break uh, break the um, break out from the borders and sort of split the Allies into two and capture some of those strategic ports that the Allies were. Um, Depended on for supplies, so it was it was doomed from the start. I mean, there was no way they were going to make it. But they, the incredible thing was that the the Germans managed to to build up such a large force uh, under the Allies' noses, so to speak, and um, they had some really powerful units there gathered uh, to to initiate this attack. But uh, they didn't have the supplies to. Uh, to supply this uh, big force so the uh, I think the first week of the offensive was very successful and it caught the Americans off guard and they captured a, a lot of units and killed and destroyed and uh, routed units along the border there and the, but the weather conditions were, were really lousy it was uh, it was winter it was snowy muddy and rainy and uh, very hard conditions to move big panzer uh, formations and uh, huge formations of soldiers uh, and, the, and the Ardennes region is very thick woods and uh, hilly country so it was very hard for these uh, uh, to advance uh, in, in a proper manner so to speak so um, the um, this game covers of course the whole bulge operations um, you have uh, this getting started scenario here. You used to get the feel of the game, and you can follow it in the uh, on the uh, PDF files that comes with it. How to you know learn the ropes basically of the game. And then you have this huge, uh, huge scenario. It's 162 turns. I mean, 
wow, it's going to take you like a week to play that. And that covers the whole, uh, it says here, the historical grand scenario of the Battle of the Bulge. And the attack started the 16th of the December. So here you can play the whole shebang, so to speak, with all the uh, units involved. And uh, they have an alternate uh, version here. So this one has uh, the release of the Panzer Division. So he, he, the, the general tactics was to break through and build these bridges and uh, capture these important bridges to get these powerful uh, uh, SS Panzer Corps and other, uh, other Panzer Formation to punch through and then, you know, just attack the Allies uh, uh, Blitzkrieg style, so to speak. That was the, uh, the idea anyways, but in reality it failed because uh, there were so many um, units to move along these small muddy roads, there was congestion and, uh, and uh, bottlenecks, and uh, so they, they didn't have the momentum that the, the Germans were looking for there. And, uh, and at this part of the war, Hitler was in charge of most of, the, of, the, of these formations, and he was just a bad strategist overall. <laughs> he, he never listened to his generals, and if he had, he probably would have had been a different outcome of the war. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this Piper... The Piper Raid was he's probably one of the most famous ones with his. Uh, he had, a, he, I think, he got the furthest with his uh, forces and uh, got quite far into that bulge, that pocket, and uh, he um, sort of uh, ran out of steam and fuel, and uh, yeah, it was basically game over. And what, what, another tactic was that there was an overcast. The, the Germans wanted to attack when the when the Allies couldn't use their superiority of the air power, so. Uh, in the first couple of weeks, I think the, the Allies couldn't use the, uh, the full extent of their air power to just bombard and destroy the, this attacking force. So they had that going for them, but as the skies cleared and the uh, Allied uh, air power showed up, it was basically game over because the Germans didn't have any air power to speak of at this part of the war. It's all been destroyed. So, uh, well, all the experienced pilots were dead anyways. They did, I think they mustered something like a thousand planes for this attack, but um, uh, inexperienced pilots and, uh, you know, uh, bad supplies made it uh, impossible for them to actually make an, make an impact on the, on the overall situation, I, think, I guess. So, uh, let's fire this sucker up and see what we can see here. I was thinking something smaller, just... Uh, Doing this will probably be like 50 episodes, <laughs> and uh, but they, you know, in the first couple of scenarios of the of the whole sort of the whole scenario with all the units involved in the whole campaign here, and then they, it starts to divide up. So they, here they have the, the first SS Panzer Corps, and it's only 60 turns. Well, only and only that's quite long, but uh, still, um, it's. It's pretty long, so. But they divided up in, in the different fronts here. So you have the uh, 47th Panzer Corps here, 72 turns. The Piper Raid here, 38 turns. And here you start to go, sort of chunk it all up here. They have the southern flank here, 15 turns. That's more playable. I mean, you could do that in an hour or so, two hours maybe. So they, they always have an alternate version of these original scenarios here. So they have the alternate here. Here you have the Clairvaux, see, 25 kilometers east of Baston there. So it's all divided here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I was thinking maybe uh, I saw one of this, uh, this Saint Vith here. It's 10 turns. I think that's good to show the ropes of the game and uh, what the scale is and what it looks like. So uh, let's have a look. Saint Vith scenario here. So Saint Vith, 42 kilometers northeast of Baston. December 18th, so that's two days, I guess, uh, into the, uh, uh, yeah, two days, I guess, 16th, no, 16th, so, um, yeah, two days into the um, attack here. Initially, the defenders of St. Fifth were a ragtag bunch of units that were thrown together by chance. The importance of the road network ra uh, radiating from the town was realized by both the U.S. and the German high command. As the Germans were hastily preparing an attack to take the town, CCR of the 7th Armored was rushing to help in the small in the defense. So it's a small size scenario here. It doesn't say in any of these which ones 
I guess you could play any side in these scenarios because usually it says uh, best played as uh, allied or best played as axis, but it doesn't say. So I guess you could play any part, and that's pretty cool. So um, the alternate version is this scenario was altered to allow German and SS Panzer and Panzer Grenadier divisions, as well as corps and army level pioneers, to break down into companies. This allows more flexibility, but still restricts the other lower quality axis divisions. So I'm going to go with the original thing here. So let's fire it up. Boom. Right. So we're going to try to be the Germans here. Why not? It's going to be hard. Uh, so put the allies in automatic with fog of war there. I'm going to leave that. And there's a bunch of rules in this game. I haven't really gone into these, but keep it a default here. But I guess there's some good stuff here. We'll keep it on default. So, okay there, and, uh, okay. Right, so, here we go. One, Axis Command Report. One out of two headquarters is out of command. Okay. So, obviously, very small window. This is actually the, the default zoom here. Very small. Um, so, if you zoom in one, you get this. And, uh, as you can see, the resolution is not as good. If I have one complaint in this game, it's the uh, the maps. I think they should have made them more like the uh, Panzer Battles maps. Uh, so you could actually see the units larger and uh, have this kind of zooming when you play. Uh, they do have the 3D. So this is a zoom out 3D mode here. And this is the um, full 3D zoom in. And it, they have actually improved the graphics here. It looks a lot better than the originals. So I might actually play in this... Uh, I like this, looks pretty nice. I mean, uh, obviously very old graphics, but still. So as you can see, the interface here is the same as all the other games, basically. Here is an updated toolbar here. You could have them for the squad battles, I think. Uh, maybe not the squad battles, but the panzer battles, they, they have this. So this is what it looks like here. So that's Saint Vip, I guess. That's what I need to capture. And here are my, here are my forces here. Uh, so obviously the scale of pants campaigns is huge, right? One hex is like one kilometer. So you got to imagine the scale here. That's actually one kilometer. It's a uh, thousand meters. So a big scale uh, in, the, in this game. And one turn, I think, is about two hours of real time. So big difference there from the uh, squad battle. Uh, yeah, squad battles and pants battles. That's right. So this is what it looks like here. So what do I got? Uh, if you click a unit here, you can see here, this is 612 men in that uh, hex right there. So it's forest, uh, you get bonus there, 30% defense, elevation is 500 meter, visibility, 2, two kilometers visibility. Yeah, so it's early morning, um, it says 6 o'clock in the morning here, 18th of December, first turn of 10. So if you right click here, you get the information here you get the it's an infantry battalion so this is a whole battalion here 612 men but take you some casualties though they're at 95 percent uh it's the first group uh one gr 295 with the 18th volks grenadier division so it's it, these are the volks grenadiers they use quite a lot of these in the our uh, in the belt bulge so so i that's the uh that's them here you have um here what, what i got here i got Pioneers, they're also Volksgrenadiers, 520 men there, some flak vehicles, 11 vehicles there, the STKFZ-10-4, so 20mm flak there. What have I got here? So this, I think this is a whole Volksgrenadier division here. Yeah, this is another battalion here, Army Group B. On this road, got some uh, Volksgrenadier, yeah, another battalion there, a... Um, I guess it's a company of tanks here. Ten, ten tanks. It's ninety percent strength there. Those are the Hetzers. The were actually like ambush tanks, tank killers. But they, they were pretty good, I guess, for uh, as assault guns as well. What do I got here? Another battalion of infantry there. Right, so we got the Nerval Werfers, twenty-one centimeter Nerval. So these are rocket-propelled uh, artillery. Very effective versus uh, soft targets. Even hard, actually. So that's some good artillery support there. Flak vehicles. Uh, this is anti-tank company here. 23 guns. So it's a lot of guns there. 
75mm uh, pack gun. Do have some, another tank company here, the Stug 3Gs. Very good assault guns. Good versus tanks as well. And another company, a uh, battalion of soldiers there. Another battalion there. Another anti tank company here. Well, here comes my artillery. So these are 105s, a standard medium artillery field gun with the German army here. 12 guns. My headquarters, 90 men there. And there's another another uh, battery of guns there. Uh, Nurburgwaffers, 18 of them here. Wow. Okay, some good support here. 12 flak guns and the overall headquarters. This one's actually out of command. It's fixed. Von Mantenfeld, apparently. Right. So, got to capture this. So if you hold shift down, you can, uh, you can see the name of these... Uh, so this is St. Vith here, and this is a Valor Road, Neden, Dingen, Steinbrook, right. So I, I gotta advance here, I guess. Another thing you should notice in this game is this, there's lots of rivers and bridges, you need to keep track of that. So here's a bridge, if I click this hex, it says heavy bridge, that means my armor can cross it. Here, let's have a look, it's a heavy bridge there as well. Here's bridges. Heavy bridge. There's another heavy bridge there. Right, some bridges down here. Right, so let's just uh, charge in here and see what happens. Right, so you double click or just select and click, same as all the other games. Uh, so there's a bunch of buttons up here. I know for this one here, let's have a look. This one here is reachable hexes. So. This unit here can move in this direction. So I haven't spotted any Americans yet here. So let's have a look. This is Marsh. Swamp, minus 40%. And Woods. I guess that's pretty good defense. Let's move them in there. All right, nobody spotted. So you just uh, right click and uh, you move. And you can also drag and, and release in this gold edition here. So we have another Pioneer here. Let's get him into that village there. All right. Get these flak guns moving up behind there. We've got another uh, Volks Grenadier battalion here. Let's move them up there. Let's right, start moving in this road here, I guess. Let's get these tanks here. Move along this road. It's probably obvious. You probably have forces here. I'm going to try maybe do a flanking uh, maneuver here. Move, move, move some units in the north here and do a frontal attack and get some units in the south. See if we can do sort of a pinch, pincer movement here. What have we got here? We got uh, another. So get them on the, the march there. Get those vehicles up there. Right, those naval weapons will stay there. But these guns, this is uh, travel mode. So let's get them up here. Get their horse drawn, apparently. Get, gotta get these guys in travel mode to get them up fast, I guess. Right, so we have 12 tanks here. Let's get them in travel mode. Get those Stugs to the front there. Right, another battalion here. I wonder if that bridge... What is that? That is a medium bridge there. That means I can move infantry and... I can't move... I don't think I can move armor across these bridges, so... Uh, let's see, what's this? Let's get these guys in uh, travel mode here. Let's get them down. Right, those guns, they're in travel mode? Hmm. Okay, maybe they can fire in travel mode? Not sure. Uh, what's this? Travel mode there? Surely they must be less effective in travel mode. Maybe I should move them up, actually, and deploy them close. So this here is save, uh, save movement cost, so that means... Let's see, I got them selected there. Yeah, saved. So I can move them all the way up here and deploy them actually. Let's do that. I've got them. Okay, so setup required. So they're setting up there now. With these anti tank guns here, let's get them in travel mode. Let's move them up. So these guys are already in travel mode here. Hmm. Right, so let's get, try to get them onto this roads here, maybe. 
These nerval wafers. Let's see if I can move them and deploy them. Let's get in there. Out of travel mode. Setup required, okay. These flak guns, maybe I can move them up. I'm gonna leave that headquarters there. I'm gonna leave that headquarters there. Okay. Right, so moving up. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> uh, right, just end the turn, I guess. Um, next turn here. Sure, let's do a save. Let's do, yeah, save battle two, maybe. Yeah, alright, so. All right, here comes the Americans. Okay, got hit there with some artillery. One man, okay. Not that many casualties. Yeah, so this is the um, Americans. They, they can probably see me here advancing, so they're firing their artillery here. Six man, wow, that was. Uh, let's see, that engineer battalion is taking a hit, a beat there. Okay, that must be some sort of scout units, maybe? Recon, maybe? Right, make some counter battery fire there, destroy the vehicle. Two out of two headquarters out of command. Well, that's not good. Right, let's have a look here. So we got some uh, Seventh Armor Division here. Obviously, I've got fog of war on, so I can't see uh, any details. So they got double digits here. That means there could be anything from 10 to 99. Uh, it's probably a company, so could be maybe, maybe between 10, 10 to 15 vehicles. Who knows? Right, so they're there. They moved up that road. Okay, he's got uh, three digits. Uh, Infantry here with trucks. Motorized infantry here. Alright. Okay, so let's see here. Let's have a look at the barrages. This is uh, the artillery dialogue. Now I moved some artillery, so. Right, so you see this little red uh, outline here? This is where my artillery can actually uh, hit these targets. So I only have two uh, available batteries here. I've got those noble weapons. Uh, they would be good probably to... let's have a look what's this. This is uh, 150 millimeter, so that's pretty heavy artillery there. Hard 8. Maybe I should plot those nerval weapons on these cars here. Boom. Right, we destroy the vehicle and they're disrupted there. That's good. Let's give them another round, I guess. Boom. Another vehicle got destroyed there. Let's fire at this... Uh, uh, infantry formation here with those heavy guns there. Six men. Right, so 12 casualties there, that's good. No disruption, okay. So let's see what I can do here. That's all the artillery I have, so maybe I shouldn't have moved my artillery. That was probably not the best. Because it says setup required here, so they're setting up there, okay. Oh well, okay. What can I do here? So they're disrupted. That means I could good to assault them. Um, let's see, these engineers probably could move down here. It'd be good to have them in might be minefields here. Who knows? So I'm gonna take these um, this battalion here of Volks Grenadiers. Let's have a look at this. They got hard six, soft eight, assault ten. So I'm gonna assault these uh, recon cars with this battalion here and see what happens. Right, he gets a counter fire there. Lost three men there. So you press this resolve result. Right, we lost 21 men. Wow. Okay. One vehicle destroyed. So that was a pretty bad assault there. He hasn't taken that many casualties. So yeah, we got fatigue 33 there. Okay, we lost a lot of men in that assault. Probably wasn't the best. Right. Let's get these engineers up here. Okay. He's got forces here. Right, took some casualties there. Okay, what's he got here? Looks like artillery and uh, engineers. Okay, he's got engineers there. Right, what do we got? We got these um, these bolts. Grenadiers need to move up here. 
Let's get this infantry here. Whoops. Let's get some more stuff here. Wait, do I have any artillery left? No. Okay. Alright, this is bad. What's you got? An engineer battalion here. Another engineer battalion here. And guns. Okay. Alright, let's get these tanks in here. I've lost another six men there. Let's see if I can get this to come here, maybe. Let's have a look at the movement. Let's get him over there. I've got these towed um, anti tank guns. Very dangerous to move towed units into fire range. Very vulnerable. Let's move them here. Let's deploy them here. Alright, what do we got here? Flak guns. Right, so they could just uh, move along this road, I guess. Right, we've got some infantry here. Let's uh, see here. Maybe uh, try to get them. We've got two battalions here. Let me start moving them through these woods. Could be dangerous in travel mode, but uh, worth a shot. Okay, so those tanks can actually move all the way up there. Let's get them there. All right. What's this? Okay, that's artillery. So anti-tank guns, get them up there. There's flak guns, get them in here, I guess. Probably put them off travel mode here. I gotta select it first there. Yeah, like that. What's this? Setup required. Setup required. Right, so are these are in travel mode. Maybe I should move these guys up. This artillery here, a bit closer. Let's get them all the way down here. Let's get him off uh, travel mode there. Right, let's leave my headquarters there. Right. Let's have a look. Can I fire with anything? No. All right. What do we got? Engineers here. All right. This flak unit maybe can move into this village here. Get some uh, air cover, air defense here around these units. All right. So engineers and guns there. Are these guys assaulted. Maybe I should take these and fire at the, that unit that wasn't. Yeah, these uh, 106th Infantry Division here. All right, took 11 casualties there. Got some counter battery fire. He's got some artillery here, I guess. All right, the engineers can't fire. What about these guys? No. All right, that artillery is. Well, let's have a look here. Let's use these tanks. And let's attack his uh, these guns there. He lost a gun. No effect. Right, we got disrupted there. That's bad. You don't want to get disrupted. Let's fire back at those engineers. Eight men. Wow. Okay, we'll take some casualties here. Okay, those are all units. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have moved my artillery, but uh, oh well, let's go. Next turn. So I guess the visibility is improving here. Alright, my noble efforts got to, got disrupted. That's good. Yeah, this game is a bit like chess. Uh, <laughs> basically, you you want to get disrupted so you can move in for the kill, for the assault, and uh, be wary of rotating units so they don't uh, the battle fatigue doesn't go too high, because then you become ineffective and broken. Wow, we got another disrupted unit here. That's not good. You gotta be lucky with the rolls, I guess, to get people get some units undis undisrupted. Once they get disrupted, you very not very effective in the, in the combat sense. Okay, so they are firing at those engineers. Oof, they're taking a lot of casualties there. Right, lot of, another vehicle there. Yo, 
we need to get the artillery set up so we can start pounding these uh, these forces here so we can go in for the assault here. Well, we got some counter battery fire there. Six men. Yeah. He's got some fortified uh, hexes here. So this unit here can counter fire apparently. Eight men. Wow. Okay, we're taking some heavy casualties here. Right. Two artillery units unavailable. One unit undisrupted. That's good. Are two units checked? Right. So one is still disrupted here. One unit set up, and uh, out of two units checked. Right. So those Nova Warriors are back in action. Now. Good. Let's have a look at the. Uh, so we got a disrupted battalion here. That's not good. He's, yeah, he's not disrupted anywhere here. Those cars are still in disrupted there. That that infantry unit got disrupted. So he's got a lot of infantry here. Okay, let's see here what we can do. All right, so look at the artillery here. So all I have is one nerve warfare. That's not good. Right, let's give these engineers an attack here. See what he got here. Let's try and hit the that infantry there. One man. Hmm. Okay. This is bad. None of them are disrupted. But I these guys are, so let's see. Maybe I should shift that engineer unit up here. Take out those cars. Let's see if I can move these. I can't move in there. Could try to move around with this bat this battalion here. Let's try that. Let's try to get around the back here. So these engineers, can they move in here? They'd be surrounded. Not good. Let's try and take out those. Uh, let's attack these um, re this recon uh, company here. All right, we've got some artillery here. Plus 24 men in one vehicle. Wow, that was bad. And we're disrupted. Okay, not good. Let's see, these uh, flak units, maybe they can move up and fire at those cars there. Let's see if we can take some of those uh, armored uh, cars out. Just fatigue there. We're probably going to take losses here. Fatigue, okay. Right, let's have a look here. Right, I was trying to move these guys in here. Right, so he does have another unit here. Pretty stiff defense here. Uh, let's see, these guys are in travel mode. That's not good. They're gonna have to go past those guys there. Get them out of travel mode, I guess. Next turn, they can move into this. Using these tanks in this woods, probably not a good idea. All right, um, got some more infantry here. But those flak guns can stay there. All right, Let's see if we scroll through the units and see if we can fire here. All right, these engineers got disrupted. Uh, let's use fire here. Let's try and take some men out here. One casualty. Wow. It's not a lot. Let's take these guys. So as you can see, it's pretty basic uh, game mechanics. It's not that uh, advanced. It's pretty basic. Obviously, there are lots of things you can put on here. Um, the spotted units, undisrupted units, ammo levels. Um, here you have a um, highlight organization. So, you there's a few things you can do. Right, let's see here. Soft 13. Um, get these engineers disrupted here. Some 
counter battery fire there. Yeah, we want to get these guys disrupted here. No effect. Okay, just one casualty there. I really hope the artillery is back in action next turn because we're going to need it badly here. Right, this unit here. Let's see. He's in the uh, he's in the clear. And he's got an improved position there. Let's see if these guys can attack here. Ten man. That's that's good. Okay, that's it. It's so all the movement, I guess. Uh, the, uh, these guns, don't really want to move them. I don't think there's any point moving these units, actually. But I can't move them. Yeah, this toad. Yeah, maybe I could get these guns up a bit. Let's get them out of travel mode there. Let's get these flak guns up. Yeah, that's basically it. No artillery strikes. No. I think we're go going off on a bad start here, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. Send the turn. Yeah, he's got some good artillery there. Yeah, that was probably a mistake, moving, moving those so close there. Really need to get these guys disrupted here. Fatigue. Morale D is pretty low morale there. Alright, lost a gun there. You gotta imagine the scale here. This is actually two hours of fighting here, so th these casualties are accumulated during two, two hours of fighting. So, All right, we got one uh, disrupted there now. Six men. Wow. All right, disruption. what we want okay that was it one out of two headquarters is out of command two artillery units are available that's bad um, right let's have a look here we've got uh, two more artillery setups though let's have a look so they are disrupted now those guns are disrupted it's got fresh troops here right we need to pound here to to crush this defense line here. So let's have a look at the artillery here. We do have our nerve wafers. Let's fire at the those men there that are not disrupted. Four men. We've got some artillery here. Let's just keep firing on those. Only one man. No, those guys are not disrupted either, so you need to fire those. Four men, okay. So let's see here. So they're still disrupted, unfortunately. Um, okay, maybe I should take the tanks. Assault in here. Take this battalion, move them here, assault. 
Okay, let's resolve that and see what happens. Right, we lost 10 men and 3 vehicles. He lost 25 men there, so... Pretty heavy casualties there. Alright, let's get these tanks. Um, where can they move? There's a bridge there. He's got infantry there. Maybe moving through here. Very dangerous to move them here, though. It's only they, had, they don't have any infantry accompanying them, so let's get these guys down here. We're gonna wait for that infantry to catch up there. We've got these guys sneaking around in the north here. Um, let's get them down here, I guess. Let's open up on these guys here. Four men. Okay. Wasn't the best bad results there. So those engineers are disrupted. Those guys are okay. Um, right. Take those. Let's see if we can get these guys disrupted here. Right, took a casualty there. Five men, okay. So when you disrupt it, you obviously attack a lot worse, so. Two men, all right. Okay, what do we got here? This, those guys are okay. Let's take, uh, wow, look at that, Fatigue 273. They're taking a lot of damage there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move them out. Fight in there. Uh, wish I can't, apparently. Oh yeah, they fired. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Disrupted. Yeah, we're gonna have to take these guys here. Fire here. One man. Wow. Okay, what do we got? Those guys are disrupted. Trying to get those disrupted so we can do an assault here. No such luck. Okay, what about these guys? Keep firing at those engineers. Right. What is the range of these guys? One hex, yeah. So, yeah, it's one kilometer. So, alright, let's see here. Okay, gotta get these guys out of here. So these anti-tank guns are obviously not good in the front here. You gotta move them up in travel mode. Probably be destroyed, so yeah. All right, let's get these guys moving. I'm gonna have to you know swap some of these units out here. They're getting battle fatigue. Okay. Right, who can fire here? Well, those tanks, they need to go. Okay, that's it. So we'll look at the barrages. I think that was all. Yeah, it's just the uh, end the turn here. He seems to be shifting his forces there. It right, looks like those Nerva Werfers is able to fire there. Right, those guys are in the open. So it must 
be the artillery firing there. I love the sound of those Nurburgers. I got some fatigue there. Okay, artillery. We seem to destroy this artillery there. Okay, that was the uh, start of turn five. Okay, two artillery units unavailable. Uh, two units undisrupted or are unbroken are the four units checked. So I said those guys there back in action. Right. So he's disrupted there now. He's got some disrupted units here. Two engineers. He's got his infantry there. I right, say so he moved out of here apparently. My engineers are still disrupted. Yeah, I gotta get those tanks out of there. Let's see if I can move them now. They have taken a heavy beat in there. Let's uh, move them back. See if we can get some of these. Okay, so they are in travel mode, unfortunately. So let's take them out. Move them in. Let's leave those guns there. These guys are also in travel mode. This is not good. So I'm going to take them out of that. Move them in there. Right, they're going to be crossing this bridge here. And attack from the, this, uh, from the south. Let's move these guys down, I guess. Right, the engineers disrupted. So this engineers. Let's have a look at the artillery first before we start assaulting here. I got three batteries here. This, these are uh, 105s. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's give all these guys some artillery strikes, I think. Not causing a lot of casualties here. What we got here? Those Nurbel Warfers. Maybe we should get these guys to go down here. Ten men. Uh, that's more like it. Seventeen. Wow. So they're in the clear there. All right. Let's see. Guess they could fire once before assaulting here. Three men. Eight. Just hope we don't get disrupted here. Three men. Right. So let's take those that battalion here. Salt in there. Let's take those. It's like a thousand men here. See what happens. All right, we lost twenty-two men. He lost 20, 24. So it's even Steven there. <clears throat> Right, we got some pretty high fatigue on that unit there. But he retreated. Let's see. Um, let's see if these, these guys can do the job here. Assault these engineers. Ah, we got disrupted. So that means... Yeah, we can assault now. Right. That's about it. Uh, I think I'm going to end the video here and uh, we're going to pick up the last couple of turns in the next. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So, this is Panzer Campaigns, uh, the Bulge 44 Gold Edition. Um, might switch to play uh, like this. I'm not sure what it looks like on the video display. It probably looks really tiny, so. Could maybe play on this. Don't like the graphics though, it looks a bit buggy, but. Uh, I like this. Maybe we continue playing like this. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see if I have time to post another one before year's end. If not, happy new year all and we'll see you in January. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll pick up the action next.